of tremor disorder, in addition to rest tremor and postural tremor, is intention action tremor seen with cerebellar disease. In this patient, who has had a traumatic hemorrhage involving one side of his cerebellar white matter pathways, he has a normal function on the right side, but the left side shows significant dyssynergia and intention tremor. This type of tremor contrasts, however, with the postural tremor in that both the trajectory and the endpoint are abnormal and most of this patient's dysfunction is in fact right at the end point when he tries to touch his nose or to bring his finger totally out. The trajectory is not normal, but the trajectory is not the area of maximal dysfunction. This type of tremor can also be seen in multiple sclerosis and other primary cerebellar disorders. The cerebellum exerts a coordinating function. It is connected with the spinal cord, the brain stem, and the cerebral hemisphere. If one half of the cerebellum is damaged, the resulting symptoms and signs are on the same side of the body. If one side of the cerebellum is involved, in this patient, the left, only the left knee jerk is pendular. There is a lack of precision in movements of the left hand. He may fail to touch his nose or the observer's finger accurately and regularly. In bilateral cerebellar disease, both knee jerks are pendular. This is clearly demonstrated by comparing the patient's knee jerks with those of a healthy subject. A healthy subject can stand perfectly still, but one with cerebellar disease is unable to do so.